I want firstly I want to appreciate God for the grace that are given unto me and you. Even oh. us to be watch for you to be watching and for me to preach the message is because both of us are alive. Because God can't us worry. That is the reason why we have this opportunity. And I pray the grace of God will multiply in our life in the name of the Lord Jesus. We all know there is a lot of problem in the world now. Many things has been happening in the world. Pandemic situation, you know, concerning the coronavirus in every area. But what I'm trying to say is that is as a result of our iniquity, is as a result of sin, is a result of neglecting. God. God, not follow the God's way, and that's what creates problems. God just wants to prove Himself, prove His supreme mercy. Oh, far or so, we'll be able to come back unto Him. And as a result of it, we know what has happened. We have closed the church, closed the mosque, closed uh, every worship center that we should be doing at our house. Nevertheless, that is not a problem. The problem is that do we realize that we need to go back to God for the solution? Because the Bible says, if my people humble themselves, he said, We'll do what and call upon you, say, and they repent from sin. God said, He will heal their land. We need to come back to God, Amen. and this is the reason why I want to talk on the topic that say, God introduced Himself to humanity. God introduced Himself to humanity in the beginning. Nobody knew how the God created everything, nobody knew how God created sun, nobody knew how God created moon, nobody knew how God created the beast, the animal, the human been everything nobody can perform that but through the grace of god god was himself revealing himself to personal one by one then he revealed himself to noah and noah was doing what is good in the presence of god he revealed himself to enoch and enoch walked with god and was no more he revealed himself to uh abraham and Abraham started a journey where God wants to reveal himself to the whole universe. But God wants to start through the life of to, to, through the Abraham and through the Abraham to the Gentile, I mean to the Israelite rather, and through the Israelite to reach every part of the world. And that's what brings God to this message. That when God now reveals himself to Moses, God reveals himself through Moses to reveal himself to who? To the to, to the uh, uh, Israelite and through Israel to the whole world. And according to the book of Genesis. Amen. Bible made us to know that in the beginning God created heaven and the heart. That Bible made us to understand that everything that are created in the world is created by who? By God. Everything we see, both visible and invisible. Everything that we can hear about, by, like hair that we cannot see, but we hear the sound and the blowing of the hair. So we are talking about God is the one that created everything that we see in the world. And what are we saying? Nobody was yet that to be able to fathom this, but God in, in, in his mercy is giving this revelation to Moses and Moses was now put it down so we can now know how God created the heaven and why did God choose to reveal himself because God know the way he had created a woman being he had created a woman being with intellect with thinking when a woman being begin to see a sun and the sun in the morning the sun rise and the evening the sun sets woman being will see what is power behind this sun and they may be able to worship that sun and that's what happened that's the reason why some people begin to worship sun worship sun rather and worship moon worship all kind of things because of what happened so this is the solution that god wants to solve that may god to unveil to every humanity that is the one that created everything so it's the one that we need to worship is the one that we need to reverend so he revealed himself to who to moses and moses begin to give an account as if he was there with god when god was created everyone and the head is a revelatory revelatory information that god gave unto him so now in that verse too, God, the Bible now says, and the earth is without form and void. Why? And the Bible says the darkness covered the world. Co dark darkness was on the face of the deep. So darkness is everywhere. So number one thing we need to do is okay? in the world there must be a challenge because in the world then which God created, not in the heaven, in the world that God created there, darkness was hovering over the sea. Darkness is everywhere. So and the Bible said because of the darkness, the life is void. So because we are in this world also if you are not seeing the light of god that man may be in the work of activity activity of darkness may be prepared over our life and what am i saying what i'm saying that when the darkness the activity of darkness may be overshadow us may create a fear in us may make us to be giving up may make us not to press for to achieve the goal and the will of god for our life or the purpose of god for our life what am i saying in the world you see a challenge and jesus said that to his disciples he said in the world we see them but we should rejoice because
God is a conquer. So the first thing we see when God creates the world is that there are challenges in the world. There are a challenge in the world. And that challenge that the world is void. Your life may look void now. Your life may live em- look, look like empty now. But I tell you the reality. If you can come to God, if the nature can come to God, Corona power is a minor thing for God to do. If you can see God, Corona power is a minor thing to God to to to, to remove from the world because it's the one that created everything in the beginning. So challenges is part of life. Challenges will come. You may face some challenges that look as if you have no future. But I want to tell you you have future. Because in verse 3, by made to understand that the, then God said, let there be light. And God introduced himself in that place in number 3. Number 1, God introduced himself as a creator. Number 2, God created, introduced himself that challenges may come to the world, but he has power over challenges. Because the Bible says, even in the midst of that challenges, the Spirit of God is one is over over the water so in the midst of your challenges god is there in the midst of what you are passing through god is there there's no place that god is not exist god is everywhere so god is with you even in the midst of that challenge so your challenge is a minority to god because the challenges of that god deal with it so in fast three god introduced himself that's number three point that is what is god that can solve challenges let there be light he solved the problem of darkness because wherever darkness is raining is is hard for someone to operate there so, and the Bible says in the book of Isaiah that take down and cover the world because, but it says it will rise, arise because the light has come. So, what I'm saying is that this morning, God has introduced Himself to us. We need to come back to God in order that our life may not be void, in order for us to achieve the reason and the purpose why God has created us. In a part two of this message, we will discuss further. I pray that God Almighty God will be with us in the name of the Jesus and give you more understanding beyond what He has preached through me this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you answer prayer. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.